Hi guys, this is Tinka, and this is part three of my Suki work vlog. Thank you to everybody who watched parts one and two. Um, they were very fun to do, and I'm really glad that some people actually found them um, entertaining and maybe even useful. So today I'm going to do a chill get ready with me to get into Kyoshi or Yursuki. Um, I did actually vlog me getting into this makeup when I was going to the shoot, but um... I have 10 minutes. Oh my god, this is stressful. Okay, not ideal. I think it honestly looks pretty decent from far away, but I don't think it looks that good from up close. Yeah, that didn't turn out too good. Um, the ending result was fine, but it was a uh, bit of a crazy time getting into the makeup. Um, today I am a lot better prepared and I have a lot more time, so I thought I can just kind of chill, um, answer some questions. I did ask around on both YouTube and Instagram for any questions pertaining to Avatar, any weird topics to talk about, or, or any you know questions when it comes to the build. Um, I'm gonna say that I'm not a makeup guru by any stretch of the imagination, so um, this is just kind of what I do. I will go over some of the kind of finalization of the outfit at the end of this video and I'm also going to show the vlog footage from my photo shoot. Okay, so for the base makeup I am using this. It's Mayron Makeup Paradise for face and body white. But it's a water-based makeup. Um, I think it's kind of cosplay standard. Everybody uses Mayron when they're doing body paint. Um, and then I have this, which is Face Lab. Um, so this one is actually from a cosplay shop in Hong Kong. My sister actually studied abroad in Hong Kong and she bought some face makeup when she was there. Another thing that you need for this look are eyeshadows. I like using a darker red um, as a kind of contour for the top area. Um, you also want kind of a gray tone. You also want stuff to kind of map out your face, kind of do a sketch before you go in with the makeup. And for that, I have this red lip liner, as well as this white um, eyeshadow. So these are actually washed paint brushes that I use just for all the butter-based face paint. You also want just normal makeup brushes, um, just for contouring and such. Um, I would highly suggest to get white powder. I'm out of white powder, <laughs> which is kind of stupid, but um, it'll you can live without it, but it will be very helpful to kind of flatten out the face because it's so hard to get even coverage with the makeup. You also want red lipstick, and then finally you would want eyeliner and eyelashes. I would also suggest some tea. Because it's a long makeup look. Actually, um, one of the questions was how long this makeup takes me. I think last time it probably took around 40 minutes and that was me rushing. There'll be timestamps this time so I'll really know how long it takes. So I will put it here on the screen of how many minutes this makeup took. I really need a actual vlogging camera because my camera's not made for vlogging. It's made for picture taking and not even that good picture taking. There we go. I don't know why I have a Suki wig. This is basically her hair. We are going to map up our face first. So this is really annoying but it's very necessary. I'm gonna take my lip liner and a picture of Suki. Okay, I just Googled one, so this is what I'm trying to get to. We definitely want this middle part. I think that's easier to just kind of start with the middle part. Another I guess, tip I'll give you um, is that if you want to make something symmetrical, go back and forth between the sides. Don't like make one side completely and then go to the other side. It'll be way harder that way. So we have the middle thing. I'm just kind of going with the bones of my nose to try to get what will look most natural. You look at this, this goes below her eye. So her eye finishes there. I'm gonna to try to make that go down all the way over here. It goes to the top of her eye. So the next dot is here. Okay, we got a dot there. And you connect those two, but this is, I wanna sharpen this first. You like hold something to your face 
and then draw with it. Basically the same. I feel like no matter what, it's gonna be a little bit different. And you just have to be okay with that. The nice thing about this is that it's face paint. Like in the show, it's face paint. You're not trying to trick anybody that this is how your skin looks like. Okay, I drew two random lines, does that look okay? Is that even? I can't tell. I think it is. The more you look at it, the, more, the worse it gets. So that's like not even cap squirt length. And here, okay. Okay, they're about the same now, I think. Okay, I just sharpened this because I need this middle part to be very sharp. I keep losing my mirror. Here it is. Ah, yes. Ah, yes, that's what we want. Cool, so that's that. Another thing that I just remembered that I didn't say at the beginning is that you need uh, glue. This glue. So this is water-based, non-toxic, glue, um, like it's for paper and stuff, but a lot of people use it for their eyebrows. So I am using glue because I want to get rid of the texture right here. So this is really annoying and it's so hard to, to look right. So I am right now kind of putting glue in my eyebrows and then I'm going to take like a spoolie and kind of run that through. So I'm also going to take a very lightly damp finger, kind of smooths it out, smooths some of those edges. Um, covering eyebrows is so difficult. I've done it a million times before and I very rarely have look like how it turns out. So um, just know, be patient with it, let it dry completely, put a couple layers of glue on it if necessary. Okay, so it's time to jump into the white face paint. So. Um, this is water-based face paint, so you want the first layer to be as thick as possible because it's really hard to layer this stuff. What I kind of do is that I put a little bit of water in this little pen and I kind of make a lather out of it. I just kind of move it around until it's almost like a thicky, thicker, <laughs> thicky, a thicker, uh, creamy kind of consistency. And then I paint it. Okay, so while I paint my face, I am going to go over some of the questions. Isa asked me to talk about how underappreciated Sokka is. So I feel like Sokka is that type of character that like in the eyes of like a kid, maybe when you f first watch the show, he's just like, you know, the comedy relief character. But then when you're like older, you're like, wait a second, he knows his stuff. <laughs> he's really good at this. I feel like a lot of people actually got like a new appreciation for Sokka. Um, I think that they definitely took a what's the word took a chance on him um in avatar because like he starts out almost unlikable he's kind of sexist he's kind of full of himself but he really changes during the series and i'm really glad that they kind of let him change also you're gonna look bad like i look so stupid right now but you're gonna you're gonna look bad until like the very end <laughs> until you contour so don't worry about it just keep keep working on it this paint also kind of looks different while it's wet versus while it's dry. Why did I wear a white? This does wash off quite well, but still, if, you're, if you don't have to get white on your black clothes, then don't. Okay, so while I finish up this white base, I'm going to answer the second kind of question slash comment that I got on YouTube. Um, and this is from Brett, which honestly, this post made my day. That's very sweet, Brett, honestly. Um, I'm glad that you find my videos clear and detailed. I try, I feel like I'm still learning, um, but I'm glad that, you know, at least the things that I do know from these last couple years are uh, gonna be helping out, and at least they're entertaining. So, Brett asked if um, I would make any major changes, if I would make any major changes um, if I was going to do a Sokka or male Kyoshi Warrior build. So to be honest, I don't think I would do too many changes, but there are two things that kind of come to mind. Uh, one is the robe pattern I used 
is actually um, like cut for woman. So there's this dart in the chest area, which helps with the curve, curvy body if you have one. And the second thing that I would say, and this is not just for males, this is just for anybody who wants to um, do the costume, is that when you are patterning out your armor, uh, pat make sure you pattern it out on your own body. Uh, mine turned out very kind of wavy, but that's only because I am ra rather curvy. Um, if you like, you know, have a flatter chest, um, then yours is not going to turn out as weirdly complicated as mine did. Other than that, though, I really love how the uniforms are basically kind of gender neutral. Sokka wore them and rocked it, and I've seen a lot of cosplayers of Sokka who also completely rocked it. Um, so if you want to cosplay a, a Kyoshi warrior, do it. Okay, so that's kind of level one. I'm going to take now a smaller brush, some things, and then I'm going to do kind of this middle part and clean up some of the edges with the smaller brush. So white is definitely one of the harder colors to get down. Shades, I guess it's a shade, not a color. So the, what, the white will be streaky no matter what. And like you put it down and you're like, oh, this is great. And then it, it like dries after two seconds. You're like, wait a second. I thought that that was nice and crisp and it's not. So you just, you just have to kind of do a push and pull. Um, I have a mirror down here, so I'm sorry that I'm just like kind of looking down this whole time. Suki's lips seem to be a little bit smaller than mine. I have rather big lips. She also does not have a big Cupid's bow. Kind of starting moving that out of it. Okay, so my camera died. Another reason why this isn't a vlogging camera is it can't film for too long. Unless it dies. Anyway, while we were gone, I uh, used this uh, to cover up my eyebrows. So when they were completely dry, and don't try to do this if they're partially wet. When if they're completely dry, you take a orange kind of cover up. It just kind of gets the kind of blue undertones of eyebrows out. All right, so I'm now going to use this paint and paintbrush. It's a tiny paintbrush. I'm an idiot. Don't be like me and get a better paintbrush. I'm going to paint the red areas of my face now while answering the questions that were on Instagram. So let's get my phone back. One was my friend who just said Cabbage Man, which I can appreciate. I think that he's hilarious. I think that it is an inside joke between the creators and the audience, which you rarely get in media. It's such a special thing that the Avatar fandom has. I was out, out on the outside of the, of the Avatar fandom for a long time because I didn't grow up with cable TV. So I never watched it until the second Avatar Renaissance of 2020. Um, but actually, I started watching in 2019. You like Buff Woman? Um, well, this person had a Korra as their uh, Avatar, and Korra's their Avatar. I laughed and I messed up my makeup. Okay, I'm sorry, Korra person. You're very amusing. I wish I was a Buff Woman. I wish that I could have muscles and go to the gym and and like strike fear in my enemy's eyes just by looking at me. And I can also appreciate all the buff women in Avatar. Just like, yes, yes, let's continue this. Um, another thing that I just, I feel like I have to say is that the same people who did Avatar also did The Dragon Prince, which is a Netflix show that everybody should watch. I've cosplayed from it. And that also has some very good buff woman in it. I would highly suggest that series. I don't have the best reach, especially on like YouTube community tab, because I just don't upload it often. Um, I could post there more. If you'd be interested in me posting on the community tab more, comment below uh, if you get to this point of the video, because I really don't know what to post there. I think about similar things I am doing on Instagram. I don't know why, but every single time I do this makeup, this side is farther down than this side of the weird nose contour. So I'm gonna try to even it out and also define the edge of this red thing with the lip liner that we used at the beginning. This is easier to do when everything is 
dry. <laughs> this is the most frustrating makeup to do. So actually this is a little bit darker than the red I'm using, but I kind of like that. It adds depth to the whole thing. And it's gonna be a push and pull between the red and the, and the white, um, no matter what. Just go back and forth forever. And I also have like a little bit of a bump on my nose, which is making it hard to draw straight lines. While white and red dry, I'm gonna go in with and do my lips. I'm excited, I'm gonna let that dry before doing anything else to it. Okay, cool. So I think this is mostly dry. So I'm gonna take the gray that I mentioned earlier, this one, and a fluffy brush. And I'm going to try to do some contour. So you gotta be light on the contour, guys. Remember that you're putting contour on face paint, so it does not blend as well as if it's on your skin. And again, we're not trying to pretend that we actually have white skin. Uh, we are trying to make it look just kind of like good. <laughs> I think there's some blush left over on this brush, so it's kind of pinky, but that actually kind of works with the red. So it's not, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Um, make sure to contour your neck for this one. And like any good contour, try not to go super ham. I'm always really bad at this. I always do either way too much or way too little. But blending is your friend. Okay, so we got... How does that look? I think that might be a little too intense. Okay, so it turned out super intense, so I'm taking this. I'm like not even adding any new water. It's still slightly damp from earlier, and I'm kind of just like stippling it onto this, the areas which I just um, contoured. It's just kind of lightening up the contour a bit. Still like very much there, but it's not as intense. Oh, another question I had was music I've been listening to recently. Let me tell you, I'm not super into music. Like, I think some people are like, you know, they can like, name bands and stuff. I'm not really good at those. Um, tea time. Um, the easy answer is lo-fi. <laughs> I've been listening to a lot of lo-fi. I've been listening to um, old songs, but lo-fi, that's my absolute favorite. Okay, so I'm also gonna kind of contour my nose. I'm gonna use this nose contour that we have going and just kind of extend it. Fine, we're going with it. I'm also gonna do a little bit under the nose. So that was just to make my nose a little bit more thin. I'm gonna just do it there and there. Okay, so I just cleaned up some of these lines with both this white eyeliner as well as some of the white paint from the bigger areas. Uh, the contour's still looking good, so right now let's go in and contour the red areas. To contour the red areas, I have two colors. One is a darker red. So first I want to do like the hooded eye. I have a very hooded eye. It's kind of annoying. It's always blend, 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 blend. Eyeshadow does not blend as well on face paint. So be patient. Keep keep on blending. So I really want to do one of my skit videos with Suki. But I really don't know what to do. I kind of want to do like a fighting thing with Suki, but um that's hard. <laughs> so for this I've contoured over here, get right here, 
the edge right here, as well as my eyeballs. And now I'm actually gonna go in with a blush, like this blush. It's kind of like a more mellow tone of blush. I'm gonna use it just to kind of like add more color on my eyeballs. I'm also gonna take this blush and do a little bit of like my brow bone. I think it also helps kind of blend in where the eyebrows used to be. So no, 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 we have eyebrows. So final kind of bit of contouring. Again, you take a very little bit of this product and we're gonna contour the nose a bit. And again, blend it out. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with a highlight for um, the white part. I'm gonna go in and try to highlight some stuff. Got Z nose, as long as the bridge of the nose. We got right here, the cheek, Cupid's bow. Been told you want to highlight there. Oh, I'm also going to take a little bit of highlight and put it on my lip. It's kind of as if it's like the inner inner corner, which you should always try to highlight. It makes your eyes look a little bit bigger. That's the end. Let's put some of this down. Okay. And then I added a little bit of eyeshadow, like shiny eyeshadow, right? and the top of my eyeballs to make them look bigger. All right, finally I'm gonna take some of this white eyeliner and just waterline my eye. Cause we're a cartoon guys. Is it tight line your eye? This is your waterline. I'm going to very lightly blush my cheeks out. Last time I did it, it was too much. So this time we are gonna just do a little bit. Um, I think it adds just a little bit of, of life to it. Again, oh, fuck, I think I'm doing it too much again. Okay. There's actually this one scene where Suki like blushes through the makeup. It's very funny. Okay, that was too much. So I'm gonna go back in with the white as we previously did and just kind of buff it out. I was all like, be very careful with the blush. Bam! It just, it shows up completely different on like white than it does on your skin tone. Cool, I actually feel pretty good about this. So let's go in with the eyeliner. Okay, I already have a bit of an eyebrow shape with just how I drew the white and the red. Um, when we go in here and kind of like define it and fill it in, you really want both of these to be completely dry when you do it. So this is, you just have to go slow for this one to be honest, that's all. That's all it is, there's no secret trick. Just go slow. And they just have black eyeliner, eyebrows. And again, that go back and forth between eyebrows. Don't do all of one and all of the other. Okay, I'm gonna try to bring this down a little bit with my nose to sharpen that up a bit. Um, you definitely wanna kind of like stabilize the hand that's doing it. Oh, damn, this isn't terrible. <laughs> Look at that. Here, there has been a little bit of escaping eyebrows. Though I think that's a shadow. I don't think that's a, it's gonna hard, be hard to like cover that. Same on this side. But I would like to tell you that the eyebrows this time are better than last time. This is my second time doing the full thing. It's my third time Doing, I did like a little bit of a practice when I first decided to do this. Here are the footage. I look much better now. All right, so now I'm gonna do the eyeliner. Um, and she kind of has like an anime eye where it's like kind of straight and then like a thing. You'll see. gonna kind of get thicker as it goes to the outer corner. I am going to actually take the dark red I used for contouring and um, put that just under the eye and kind of smoke it out almost. And 
go in and blend. With that a little bit there, I'm then going to go back in with my eyeliner and uh, do the bottom line as well. I'm going to make it trail off when it goes to the inner, inner corner. Okay, so you totally could be done here, but I'm going to glam it up a little bit by putting on eye, these like eyelashes, by putting on eyelashes. Um, I got these for very cheap on Amazon. Um, it says darkness on them, and I think there's Korean writing. Um, I just think that they're very animu. I use them for a lot of my like cartoon characters. They're very spiky. Okay, so this is the makeup. Um, tell me what you guys think. I'm actually quite happy with it. I think it looks really good. It's more even than it was last time. Um, and with this hair, with my hair down like this before putting on the wig, I feel like I'm the Kyoshi warrior. Um, I also kind of look like Ty Lee being a Kyoshi warrior, so. I just had a nacho break and then regretted eating ghost pepper nacho cheese when I had a full face of makeup. I'm actually going to talk about some of the finishing details. So, the fans. I just got these off Amazon. I really wanted to make like metal fans, but then I'm like, I don't have time for this. So I just got these off Amazon and literally spray painted them. If I were to do it again, I would have not spray painted the wooden parts here. Um, I'm probably gonna go in there and just like repaint it to look like wood, uh, but it actually turned out pretty decent. The wig um, is actually my Makoto wig. Um, it's not the best wig, it's very old. When I was shooting, I actually had a lot of annoyance because of the wig. Um, it just kept like kind of sticking out. I would suggest to buy a new wig if you're gonna do this costume. Um, it needs to be kind of flowy. She has kind of flowy hair, not this like weird like... There was some pieces that I didn't vlog, like I didn't vlog the skirt. Which I think, I, I don't think it's supposed to be a skirt, I think it's supposed to be one of those, um, like, pants, big pants that, like, samurai wear, um, but I was not going to make it historically accurate, so I just made a pleated skirt. Um, also, I did the little, like, circle on the side of the sleeve. That one I just made out of, um, craft foam. I actually dremeled it down to be nice and smooth and spray painted it with the same spray paint that I used for the fans. Um, I don't think... There's much else that I didn't go over in the in the videos. If you are confused, comment below and I can try to do my best to explain to you uh, what I did for the process. Um, all right, and with that, let's um, get dressed. There it is. There we go. We are out and about. That's my Azula. Hello. That's my photographer over there. Hello. So, um, oof. So, fun story. This building is a fancy restaurant in Groton, Massachusetts. The last time I was there, I was at a work function. So, I was very fancy. And now I'm this. Uh, but it's. <laughs> <of them. laughs> but, um,. We had a little bit of an issue getting here because the place we were going to park is now a no parking zone and we watched people getting ticketed. So we had to go plan B and we parked at that restaurant. So now we're heading over. Um, it's a bit of a hike, but nothing that a Kyoshi warrior and, and a princess of fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can handle it. <laughs> Don't fall into the barbed wire. <laughs> Let's not kill her today. We finished the shoot. It's already getting kind of dark out. 
but um, it was very successful. It was. I'm so excited to see these photos. This is fighting flash cord, ladies and gents, and everybody in between. Very talented dude. Very talented dude. He's on Instagram. I'll put all, I'll put Celine's and flash cord's information in the description below. It's post shirt now. I love how this part got <laughs> rubbed off because I was wearing the headpiece. Okay, it's time. Oh my god. So this actually stayed together okay. There's definitely some wrinkling under the eyes. And then some of the kind of eyebrows are also kind of coming out. And as usual, the white is blotchy. But this is a water-based paint, so it's super easy to take off. So I'm actually gonna jump into the shower, shower this off, and then I'll call it a day. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, this is the finalized product. I feel so badass in this. Good God, I feel like I could just fight the Fire Nation. Um, anyway, if you guys wanna see anything more from me, post in the comments below. And again, if you have any questions about my makeup or outfit, then you know, please just reach out um, in the comments. I'd be happy to answer anything. All right, bye.